Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here and today we are on the Crew 2 and we are testing out the Aston Martin V8 Vantage S. And yes, it is a very long name but we are testing it out and let's get straight into it shall we? But the first thing we will go over is the price of this vehicle and the price comes in at 315,700 crew bucks or 45,100 crew credit. Now let's get into the customization. So, color, livery, vanity items, and visual parts. So let's get into the visual parts, and there is six hoods to choose from. All of them disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, they are horrible. Maybe no, we'll stick with that. We also have uh, no that one. We also have eight front bumpers to choose from. Uh, again, not great. Definitely um lacking in the customization front but it's an Aston Martin it's not a Toyota a Toyota yeah it's not a Toyota or a Mitsubishi or something like that so I don't know why I got confused about Toyota either um, but we also have two side mirrors here can keep that one uh, two skirts two front jeez this is awful uh, we'll put the yeah we'll put the big boy on why not why not it's an Aston Martin we can do whatever we want we have six rear bumpers as well. I don't like that anymore. We'll add that. And that is the customization done. Not much customization. And I think the tinted windows are from here, I think. Or they're livery. I don't know. They're either a livery or they're from the vanity item section. But customization was pretty bad. So let's get into the uh, performance of this vehicle. Let me take off all the 280 parts first. And like I said, it was um, 300, uh, yeah, just over 300,000 crew bucks. So it's quite cheap for a street racing vehicle. So it's obviously uh, a low performance level. And it ha does have a top speed of 189 miles per hour and 510 horsepower at its base. So let's put the 280 parts back on. Because obviously that's all you, uh, you care about is the 280 parts being on. So the 280 now on, it has a top speed of 226 miles per hour, 798 horsepower, uh, 0 to 60 in 2.37 seconds, quarter mile in 9.43 seconds, brake distance 60 to 0 is 18.1 yards. So let's get into an event and I will see you there in a second. Right, let's test out this vehicle shall we. It does look quite nice, I, like, I do like an Aston Martin. Personally, the Vanquish is always going to be lovely, and the Vulcan, obviously. But all Aston Martins are very, very nice looking, coming from a Brit. So, yeah. But let's test out this vehicle. Does it have what it's got rally lights at the front? Why is it no? Okay. Oh, this thing sounds quite meaty as well. This thing sounds decent. It's either me going insane. Or is his headset because I've got a new headset, so maybe it could be that. But the vehicles recently have been sounding a lot better on this game, and I don't think that's a coincidence whatsoever. I think it is his headset. So maybe uh, all the vehicles I've tested this whole time have been decent, or well, decent sounding. But so far, it's putting in a shift, and it's doing very well. It's very quick as well. Look at it. Look at its speed in the snow as well. We are speeding. Handling a bit heavy, but bearable. But overall, I am impressed for 300k as well. Not a bad price, and it's putting in an absolute shift here. Yeah, not too bad. I want some more turns though. Here we go. Here's one. Went on the grass a little bit. Where's the turns? There's not enough events. I should really start playing uh, the community events more. But some of them were just too long. Like there was someone that made, I think, like a five hour race. It's not even a race at that, it's like a road trip. A five hour race around the whole map going down every road, I think. Which, fair play to the dedication, but yeah, that is very, very long. And whoever completed that, hats off to you, because I would not be able to sit in front of my screen for five hours. And that was a world record. So it'd probably take me like six hours. So no way. <laughs> but this thing is putting in a shift and it is doing really well. I mean, 
nothing so far. The handling feels pretty good, feels pretty solid. It feels really fast, even going uphill. It feels just very, very clean. I just don't like the uh, the lights at the front. I don't know why I kept them on. I didn't even notice them, to be fair. That's the only downside I have about this vehicle, is the aesthetics. But yeah, the customization was a bit bad. But the performance, I think, is making up for it. And the price, it's not too expensive for a street racing vehicle. And very, very solid as well. Look, we are just going uphill and we are just staying at 200. Crazy. Yeah, very, very solid vehicle right there. Handling, a bit heavy at times, but it's still... You can still control the vehicle pretty well. And obviously, you can ease that a little bit with pro settings as well. But yeah... Time for my final conclusion of this vehicle. So like I said, the price is very good. The customization wasn't all there. And also the performance was very good as well. So out of 10, I'm gonna give this vehicle out of 10, I'm gonna give it a 8.3, a very solid vehicle. And I would definitely use it again. And I would recommend you using this vehicle as well if you haven't already. And obviously if you have, Tell me what you think of this vehicle down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video.